So pancreatic cancer patients, as you know, even if they're resected for cure, like R0 resection, and even if they like free of lymph node involvement and small tumors, they still have a risk of the cancer coming back. Overall, we tell patients if they have resected cancers, they have a 20% five-year survival rate at best. And in fact, that can be uh, further improved if the patient had no lymph nodes, negative margins, and it can be worse than a 20% if they had uh, lymph node involvement. But even with the small tumors, they have a, a significant risk for the cancer to come back. So in our experience, in my, uh, uh, in my practice, all the patients who have a resected pancreatic cancer end up having adjuvant therapy. Then it comes to the choice of the adjuvant therapy. And the major two things which we have to discuss, one is whether we use single agent chemotherapy or we use a combination. And the second point is whether we include radiation therapy as part of the adjuvant therapy for the patient. So with respect to the choice of the drugs, gemcitabine has been a standard and, uh, and we have to give it at least four months, if not six months. And gemcitabine as a single agent has been shown in a clinical trial, at least one clinical trial, to be ad advantageous over uh, doing nothing after surgery. But there's also evidence that gemcitabine activity can be also equivalent to giving 5-FU, fluoroprimidine, giving it obviously the right way, either infusional or even capecitabine. But in fact, it's probably more practical, practical, easier, and more tolerated to give gemcitabine. That's why gemcitabine became really the backbone of building on adjuvant chemotherapy. Recently, there was a study presented in ASCO uh, in uh, June of 2016. It was a European trial which showed that the combination of gemcitabine plus cape, oral capecitabine was superior to gemcitabine when they looked at the survival of the patients. That study has some uh, issues uh, with it, but overall it's a survival endpoint and we have to respect that. The fact that it's a survival improvement, then uh, we have to really take it into a serious consideration. And a lot of oncologists nowadays, including myself, when we're considering uh, adjuvant therapy, will, will go for the gemcitabine plus capecitabine combination. Having said that, as you know, in metastatic disease, uh, the MPAC trial, which included gemcitabine and napaclitaxel showed improvement over gemcitabine alone, and that has become more or less a standard of care in the majority of the patients we treat with metastatic disease. There's also a study that looked into the use of gemcitabine and napaclitaxel in the adjuvant setting, and that study is called APACT, A-P-A-C-T, as opposed to MPACT, and that trial has completed accrual over 800 patients and data being analyzed as we speak. So we don't have information on the gemcitabine nap paclitaxel combination. Fulferinox, which we also use in metastatic disease, has been tested against gemcitabine by the Europeans and the Canadians, again, being analyzed as we speak. We don't have data. So for an average patient now, if they have resection of the pancreatic cancer, the recommendation would be gemcitabine for four to six months or gemcitabine plus capecitabine, depending also on how well the patient is after surgery. Some patients may not tolerate uh, combination. In fact, some patients might tolerate any therapy after surgery. The issue of the radiotherapy is a more difficult one because we still do not have a, a good uh, study that has uh, um, in a very definite way uh, informed us whether radi radiotherapy is necessary or not. In fact, there's a current RTOG trial, national trial, which is looking into the question of radiotherapy. And when I say radiotherapy, it's chemoradiotherapy because it's like a fluoroprimidine plus radiation treatment. In the United States, there is still a lot of use of adjuvant radiotherapy. In, in Europe, um, some parts of Europe, they stopped using uh, adjuvant radiotherapy altogether. So again, a, a, a question that needs to be answered and the current RTOG trial uh, is more than halfway accrued and that will help us to, uh, to answer that question.